Okay, here we have a laptop with a rocker screen. Normally using that with this monitor is fine, but today I want to get this into recovery mode of a bootable install media. And the main reason I want to do that is because I want to use disk utility to trash the drive, clean it up, and reinstall a newer version of the OS uh, rather than just writing over the old one. I prefer to keep it fast. A bunch of different ways of doing that. Actually, the quickest is just to turn it back on, hold down the action key. As soon as it comes alive, right arrow, enter, which is basically just selecting the second boot media. If the screen was working, you'd see that it had two icons. It starts on the left, which is the main disk, or on the right is the boot drive that we've got here. If you close the lid now, it'll gradually log in. Just because it's logging in from this thing, it's a little bit slower than normal. Now the real fun starts, sorry, let me just explain. You can boot this, turn it on, close the lid, press keys on any of these keyboards if they're plugged in, or if you have a previously wired keyboard uh, via, sorry, previously connected. If you have a previously paired Bluetooth keyboard, uh, previously paired mouse that were working before launching into this, they'll work fine during boot up. You can put the power on, close the lid, and hold down the action key on any of these keyboards. You can wire these things in, plug them in, um, and you can use a normal non-Mac uh, uh, keyboard. Um, in my case, I had to hold down the Alt key uh, to get in place of the option key. Now, once you're at this point, the problem is that if you want to use the internal trackpad and keyboard, I haven't found a way of using this because as soon as you do this, it goes into extended screen mode. So you lose the utilities from here and they come down to the screen here, which is useless, of course. Mouse is still working. Uh, if I go far right, and if you can see the mouse here, uh, then plus create, but I can't, I've got nothing to select. Close the lid again. It's all come back, but now I can't use the keyboard, can't use the mouse. But as you can see, previously paired mouse works fine. Previously paired keyboard works fine. This keyboard, if I plug it in, works fine. This is not paired Bluetooth. Uh, that works fine as well. And this keyboard also works fine using the Alt key as the option key. Plug it in by USB. If anyone has any ideas on how to get it into mirrored display mode, which I believe is impossible in recovery mode, uh, after having spent a couple of hours trying it just for giggles, then please leave it in the comments below. It'll be great.